Let's talk about why I don't like to talk about my story. The biggest reason is that when I do tell the reason why I got into affiliate marketing, people stop hearing anything I say after that. And so I'm like, why bother? Widowhood is very, very weird. It makes you think about the past a lot, the future a lot, and it's, it's kind of a thing that steals your time. It steals your present moment. Since no one in this country likes to talk about things like this unless you are a uh, military widow, the rest of us just get, oh, that's sad, bye, kind of treatment. Him passing away is the reason why I really took the spurs to doing this, even though he and I were looking into ways to make money online a few months before he passed, I could have made a decision to either stay a cook and just stay in the life, live a 50-50 life, which I'm not gonna talk about here, or I forge ahead with something different and reinvent myself. I was looking for ways to make money online because the restaurant where I was working was gonna close for four months and I didn't want to do the catering that the boss was having me do. I hate catering. It's horrible. It's just one of those things where if you need a kick in the butt to get started doing something new, I'm here to tell you that it's kind of better that you kick your own butt instead of letting horrible, horrible tragedy do that for you. If I were to tell my story, and everyone gets hung up on the fact that my husband died in the process of doing all this. It's obviously a tragedy, but I'm digging myself out of it. Change was not my choice, but I'm dealing with it instead of running from it or being sad 24-7 about it. And at one point it brought up a lot of people saying that I could never do that. Oh my God, I could never deal with something like that. And like, okay, I, what, I guess? And this is also what I spoke about coming from a place of empowerment. So if anything, maybe my story can go to illustrate that if you need to do what you need to do in life to create the life that you want, even if circumstances out of nowhere dealt you some really bad cards, if you're still here pushing through it, Keep going, because you'll see finally what you are really made of and what you can do. Like, thinking back on it, I think he would have been actually a little more apprehensive to do some of this. He, he did kind of have a fixed mindset when it came to doing things. And unfortunately, that was part of his downfall and his depression. Because he was in tech, he was a web designer, web developer, software developer, and when COVID happened and he lost his job, he would have been the absolute ideal person to get into affiliate marketing. But he just had this archaic <clears throat> mindset of, no, I need to work in an office, but he was not going to work in an office because he was very scared of the outside being lava, which is what he used to call it. The outside is lava, like, Bro, life is lava. What are you talking about? <laughs> he was sweet. I miss him. But I know that he's here whenever I'm doing techie stuff. And he's here to help me. Me doing this for him. It's like, no, I'm, I'm kind of doing this because of him. I can invent the person that I want to be. I've done it before. This is not new. It's just different. Okay, I made myself sad. I'm going to finish my coffee. <laughs> I'm going to go take a walk or read something. It's a silly Sunday, and it's nice outside. And um, have a good rest of your day. We'll see you back tomorrow bright and early on Monday. And hopefully Craig doesn't eat all the donuts. <laughs>